got the championship standings as well after the first round. Yes, yeah, so we have Alan 6 r 4 who's leading the way, 244 points. Um, <laughs> we were looking good to be finishing top four or something in the rally, but then there was a stationary Mercedes parked on the side of the stage that I didn't see, which didn't really help things. Uh, we've got the likes of Keith Fair there in fifth place on 206 points. He's someone I'm kind of targeting, trying to trying to beat, because I think we're quite evenly matched, and I know Keith a wee bit, so he's kind of someone I want to try and beat. Obviously, I am down in 130 something in the championship, let's just see. So 136th place I am in the championship after that first round, which isn't ideal. So you've got eight stages, as you can see, service, I'm going to know where the services are this time. We've got service in the first stage, the third, and the sixth. So basically, we're just going to fire on with it. Two, one, go. I might end up going pretty quiet at some points in these stages, because you need to concentrate a lot on the pace notes. Into three right, tight long, 30, five left. 60 over finish, into Final corner. Right over crest, 30. Pretty good first stage, no incidents, no damage, no anything like that. 317.6 as well, so we're a wee bit quicker than 320 that we're aiming for. That should hopefully see us in kind of like top 30 kind of area, but we'll wait and see. Okay, we're sitting ninth actually, so it's pretty strong. We're just behind Keith, uh, which is, exa <laughs> which is um, exactly where I was at Monty as well. Me and Keith were very, very similar throughout the whole rally. Okay, second stage is dark. It's so easy as well. See if you have a wee mistake and you and you hit something, even if it doesn't end your rally or do much damage, you can you can lose the lights so easily. And trust me, when you do a dark stage with no lights, especially in a place like this when you've got cliffs either side and it's narrow corners, it becomes very very difficult very quickly. Oh, that's fast. Whoa! I can't see anything because it's dark either, so this could end in a lot of tears. If I'm not careful, every single bump throws the car out of line. You've just got to keep the steering as straight as possible. Be really smooth. Oh, 349.361, so we're about 11 seconds off the pace. Again, anything within 15 seconds on those short stages, I'll absolutely take at the moment. We jump up, though, to P6. So that's pretty good going. Keith has done a really good stage. He's jumped up to third on a 658, so he's obviously been one of the quickest on that stage. Uh, I've lost about 10, 10 seconds to him, but top six. Big jump coming up. Right Flat out, yeah, right screw it. Three of a crest. Oh god. Oh, that's a big jump. Another big jump. Bloody hell. This is a fast stage. I actually quite like the fact that it's front wheel drive. It kind of gives me that little bit more confidence that the car's not going to do anything huge when you lose the back end. You can kind of control it a bit easier. It's less powerful, obviously, than the R5s and stuff as well. Back on the circuit. It's all about following the ruts as well. The stage has got quite bad degradation. Uh, no idea how it works in this game, whether it's more degraded because I'm doing this rally two days after it started, or whether it's the same for everyone. I really don't know. Pace is consistent. It seems to be the same amount of time slower than the leaders for each stage. So I honestly take that right now. So we're fourth in the rally. So you can see, like, even just by keeping that pace, we're mile, we're 50, 45 seconds off the lead. We're still nine seconds behind Keith, so he's got to be at the someone we're trying to keep with. Um, but we're, we're top four, so every single stage we're bumping up. I think we started off about ninth or eighth, we moved up to sixth, and now we're fourth. So if only it would keep going up at that rate. 30. Six right, opens Didn't even see that corner coming up. Caution. Even if you just don't want to, even if you clip like the side of the cliff edge, even if you just touch it, it can send you like there. See, that could have sent me straight over the sides. Left 80, right long, opens up a crest. 30, caution, narrow ball. My eyes are probably looking like stocks right now. Oh. Crest and short three left, opens up a crest. 10 seconds off, I'll take that. Absolutely take that. By left, by right Titans, 30, 3 right. Into four left of a jump, Titans, 2. 14.4 seconds. And 
We'll try not to run over the marshal. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, we can see. That's the thing about consistency. So Keith is dropped maybe seven seconds, eight seconds to me in that stage. So maybe he was pushing a bit harder. Ollie Cart's in the lead as well. Ten seconds ahead of Alan, 6R4. So there's a really good competition for the lead. Keith's third, and I'm only 1.9 behind him now. Oh god, it's Starts even darker. 50, oh yeah, we've got we've got our, our TWP LD, LED bar, although it looks good like luck. one of this it looks like the uh, the support on the right of the light has come off. I reckon there's a good chance that'll fall off during the stage. My right long, two. Oh my lights are flickering as well, that's not good. Got half a lamp and it's not even working properly. Now this is look at this, I've got I can't see a thing. Six right. This section is fast, I remember. 18. Oh god. Six right of a long crest. Hit the five right. Six left. Yeah, we're back to full concentration 18. mode. Keep left of a jump into six right. Thir we're still within a minute of Ollie Cart six uh Ollie Cart 99. Alan six are four second, three tenths of a second, so that battle is awesome. Uh, looking forward to seeing who wins. And then you've got me and Keith third and fourth. Keith's gained a huge amount in that stage for fair play. That was a brilliant stage by him. 45.2 seconds and I'm 57.3 so Keith seems to be quicker and pushing a bit harder and maybe less consistent so uh, I've only got a four second gap back to fifth place BTR day, DA 2016 so I'm I'm watching my back but at the same time I'm just going to drive my own stages and I think if I try and chase anything you can see how close it is to going wrong so often so I'm not going to bother. Remarkably undamaged we've got okay bodywork and yeah standard fix of the bodywork. And we can replace the lights. That's <laughs> probably the most important thing, to be honest. No other damage needing repaired, so we're well safe. Okay, so new tires. Car looks brand new. Three stages to go. Into five left of a crest. Into five right. And flat left. 60. So I appreciate that was silent through there, but you can probably see why. Turn square right and tarmac. 30. Get it slowed down nicely as well for the right hander at the bottom. So it's going pretty well so far. No risks. Even with no risks, I'm absolutely all over the joint. That was me backing off as well. Maybe having the power down helps because the front wheel drive it kind of tucks you back into line, but I'm not going to muck around too much here. Hey, so 10, 10 seconds off the fastest. Again, that's 100% take that. Kind of going in line with what we've been doing so far. Looks like Keith's had another problem there, or at least a slower stage, because he's jumped to 1 minute 15 off the pace, and I'm up to 108, so I'm up to, to third. But I'll take that right now, because we've still got Ollie Cart now and Miles out in front, and they're completely uncatchable. Okay, so we're third place somehow, only four seconds ahead of fourth, and we're only seven seconds ahead of fifth, and it looks like the two of them are a bit quicker, so honestly at this stage I'll take a top five. I d I'm not going to risk it, and you never know, they might have problems on these stages as well. This is the really long stage, so. Yeah, this is where this is where I really need to be careful. Left. It's already getting too dark. Into four right. Into three left long. Into four right. Into three left. Into three right. Into four left long. Tightens. Four right long. Over crest. Pace looks really Indeed. strong. We're only eleven seconds off the lead. Into two left. Opens thirty. Nice to there. Into three left long, tightens 100. Middle of a crest. It's probably been our nicest stage so far. I don't care if I've crushed it. Opens of a crest 30. Into six right. Had a green sector just then. I actually gained on the fastest time. Bridge 60. Six right. Into five left long. Opens 30. Four left long of a crest. Tightens back. Caution tightens, don't cut three of a bridge. I heard a lot of it's cautions right and don't cuts long. there. Tightens of a finish. 80. Last corner. Don't put it in the trees now. That's probably been our best stage so far. Time says the same thing. 750.1. So it's actually, I think we did a 749 earlier on, but it's given the fact that it's dark, I'm on more used tyres. Um, and it seems like compared to the, the leader, at least I was quicker. So I wonder if one of the leaders had a wee issue there. But it felt good. It felt good. Right. Okay. So, you can see there we've had some problems for a few people. So yeah, looking at the times guys, we are well clear in third place. So, this is what I'm talking about, like as long as you're consistent, it's okay. The battle for the lead is only 1.4 seconds in it between Ollie and Alan. I'm in third, 1 minute 24 off the lead. Uh, and then we've got a massive gap, so I wonder where Keith's gone. 
So if he retired from that stage, he'll be further down. Oh, here we go. 23 minutes, yeah. So Keith retired. So he's 86th position. So he's gone through exactly what I went through in the last round at Monty. So we are we are perfectly in sync right now, me and Keith. It's going to be a good championship battle. He's got to be the target. I wasn't expecting to be this high, I'm not going to lie. Especially, gravel's not my thing. The jump continues long into caution. Oh, I actually thought that was the jump there. That's exactly what I mean. Couldn't even see into ball right. where that hill was. Opens a crest, 50, <laughs> Almost turned into a jump that wasn't there. Could you imagine if that's how the rally ended? Of a big jump. Don't cut this one. I basically did cut it there. Oh, they're not even working properly, they're flickering, that's why. Jeez. Don't make it easy, do they? I haven't even hit the front end and my lights are flickering. Oh god, that's... Oh. This is left long of a crest, Titans torture right simulation now. right now. 12 seconds off the leader, I will absolutely take that right now. From within 20 seconds, I'll be chuffed. Just hovering over the brake pedal every single time. Power's the end. Don't know if I'll be able to see the marshal. 16 seconds off. We've done it. We've done it. Finish round two. 4.13.5 to end it. That should see us top three for the moment behind two guys that are just phenomenally quick. So, wow. Take that. Yeah, so there we are. 38 minutes, 28 seconds. <laughs> Ollie Cart's taken it from Alan 6R4, so that's rolls reverse from the first round. From, but I'll take that, honestly, after, after Monte Carlo. We'll, we'll hopefully jump right back up the standings as well.